guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a demo and review first impressions a little bit of everything on the brand new NARS soft matte complete concealer now this one is a little expensive it's a $30 concealer and I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what it looks like it's very NARS appropriate very luxurious almost and I'm going to just compare it to my other concealers. So the other concealers that I'm obsessed with currently are these. And it's the two Tarte ones, the Rainforest of the Sea, the Shape Tape, which all of you guys probably see everywhere on YouTube, and then the Better Skin. These are like my obsession. Now, both of these have around 0.33 to 0.36 ounces. And then this one right here has 0.25 ounces. So this one does have a pretty close amount of the NARS one. This one has 0.21. I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So the color that I'm going to be using is Medium One Custard. I like to use um, NARS Ginger during the summer because it is a little bit darker. And I feel like during the summer I tend to get a little bit of a tan so I obviously don't want it to be too light. I'm going to take my little spatula and I'm going to place it on my finger. So I'm instead of digging into it with my nail and then I'm getting all nasty, I'm just going to go ahead and take some product. It definitely feels super lightweight. This is oil free as well. so. I'm excited to see how this is going to work. And then I'm just gonna warm it up with my fingers. That really helps kind of dissolve that product out so it doesn't go in and it just like cakes everywhere. So I'm gonna apply some right on my eye and I'm actually gonna bring you guys closer because you guys are a little too far. Okay, so I'm gonna put some right here. One, two, Three. And then I'm going to take my Morphe R30. This is from the Rose Gold Collection. My brush is already getting dirty, but I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Wow, it's actually blending out really beautifully. Like it feels just super smooth. Um, it's not giving me a hard time and I'm just gonna fix up my eyeshadow because I kind of did it messy and I always like to go back with my concealer and just kind of fix things in place okay now here I did moisturize my skin before I started but right here I'm noticing that it's a it's grasping on to a little bit of my dryness so that's not a good thing because I'm not using foundation and what I like to do when I don't wear foundation is I like to take the product downwards and kind of just blend it out as if I was, you know, applying it onto my skin. Just because we are not going to be using a foundation, we definitely want to blend it out. And then I like to go back in with a makeup sponge. I like to go a little bit brighter for my under eyes. Some of you guys honestly may not like that, may think that um, it looks too light, but I feel like in the morning time, lately my eyes have been super dark. My darkness has just been awful. Like you can see it right there. It might not be awful to some of you guys, but for me it's a little awful because I'm used to it not being that bad. So I really find the difference of how it looks. So you can see there, it looks really polished. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder just on one eye because I want to see how it wears with powder and how it wears without. Now it does claim that it will not crease. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen. And I've come to the conclusion that the only way my under eye will stay creaseless is by me setting it. If I don't set it, it's not going to stay creaseless. So I have to go in with a little sponge and set it in that area where I tend to get really gross. And before I do the other eye, I'm going to wait for this to set. I like to go in and conceal the other areas of my skin where I want to kind of cover certain blemishes. Now this says that it's also good with hyperpigmentation and acne and any small blemishes you may want to conceal. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this up here and just kind of blend it out because I do get some redness in that area. And 
and I'm just going to place that product in there with this brush. I like to use a flat brush to apply concealer. I feel like it applies it the best. And then once I go in with this flat brush, I'm going to go in with a blending brush and I'm just going to blend it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my Sigma F80. Right now I'm seeing the product cling on. I'm trying to blend it out. So now I'm going to dust away this under eye powder and I'm going to be using my Morphe M438 brush. And you guys can see what difference it makes just by concealing your face and putting on a little mascara. Like it looks like you're super, super like full face, but you're really not. And then the last bit I like to use is I like to take it and put it down here. And then on my nose, just to kind of minimize the appearance of those blackheads because those things can be nasty. I'll quickly zoom up with my mirror and see how this looks. I feel like it looks equally the same with the powder and without the powder. I don't want it to look obvious that I'm wearing makeup, especially if somebody's up close, they can tell, oh yeah, she's wearing concealer because it's like coming off, it's like kicking up a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, which is probably just some lipstick and a little bit of um, mascara on my lower lashes. So I went ahead and finished what I needed to finish. Um, I did a lip color. This is Porcini, Porcini, Porcini by Bite Beauty. It's so freaking beautiful. It's nothing like I have. So I've just been living and I like how it's super moisturizing but yet very long wearing. Like this is like my newest obsession. I just started wearing it actually yesterday and I'm like, oh my God. In case you guys are wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes, not that you guys are because my eyes are super basic today but I actually used my Studio 10 palette. I went on Target.com and looked through all the stores that had it and all the stores that didn't have it. Of course, the stores closest to me didn't have this palette. So I had to go probably like 18 minutes away from my job. It wasn't that close. Thank God that my job was kind of close to that place. And they said they had it. So I literally ran to that store. They didn't really draw it. I drove my car. Literally was so excited. I was like, please God, please have it. And of course, the first one that I came across was broken, like completely broken. And I was like, are you serious? I'm like, is there another one? I wasn't seeing another one. I was freaking out. And then I saw this one. Now this one was a little defective too. This shadow right here is kind of broken, but everything else is fine. The palette and the packaging did look a little messy. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm still going to have to get it because I'm not about to drive way more further than I already have to get this palette. So I asked the guy at the register, I was like, is there any way that I can get a discount? Because my palette obviously isn't perfect. It's a little broken. And he was like, yeah, we can honor that because of course, like the palette is kind of defective. So thank God for that. But I'm also really happy that I was able to find it. So I'm wearing this palette on my eyes. And let me just tell you, I'm living for it. If you guys want to see a more natural look tutorial using the new pixie it's judy time palette then please let me know i freaking adore judy i watch her vlogs every single day faithfully and i'm just so happy and proud for her i'm sorry i went on a tangent but i'm just super excited about this palette that i just had to talk about it even though this video isn't about this palette so back to the reason why we're here four minutes later so um as i'm looking the concealer definitely set a little bit it's still looking a little dry where I put that powder and also a little like it's looking like it's clinging onto my skin just a tad. Now up here it's still clinging onto my skin right there but it's not clinging onto my texture. My texture has gotten a lot better but it's not clinging onto it. I would say right now off the bat from what I'm witnessing I don't have dry skin but I'm thinking that for my ladies who do have dry skin, I don't think this will be the best product for you because if it's clinging onto my little dry patches, I can only imagine how much more it's gonna cling onto your skin. I do wanna quickly compare it to the MAC Soft Ochre really fast because I was asked to compare it. So I'm just gonna give you some brief rundowns on it. Now the Pro Long Wear Paint Pot by MAC 
has 0.17 ounces. This one has 0.21. I do think the paint pots are phenomenal for my eyes. I love how when I really want a sharp cut crease or when I really want preciseness in my shadow, I feel like the MAC paint pot does a really, really good job of keeping that product exactly where it needs to be and not allowing it to go anywhere else. So I would say if you're looking for a product that will help you with the cut creases, setting your eyes and preparing them for the whole eyeshadow process, you're really going to like the paint pot. I do also feel like the paint pot is a little bit more dry, but I do feel like this is perfect for the eyes. I would not use this for a concealer. I feel like it, it wouldn't do the trick for me. Let's see how it looks on the skin. So believe it or not, it actually looks worse on this side where I didn't powder and it looks better on the side where I did powder. On this side, there's a lot of like clinging on to my skin. I'm just not really a fan of that. Just really irritating me how it's like the product is there. I applied it with the same brush same everything, the only thing I didn't use was the powder to set it. Also, I want to quickly say that this product does transfer very easily. So like if you're touching your face a lot or doing like any type of stuff like that, it's going to transfer and it's going to come off. It's not one of those products that just like heavy duty stays there, doesn't move. If I were to wear this on a really hot summer day, it would melt off immediately. So I definitely think that this product isn't worth it especially if you're looking for a concealer that's going to wear all day long you can see that it's on and it definitely covered up my darkness but i feel like it's just not worth it so like for the product to come off that easily it just irritated me i will say though if you do want to try it out make sure you set it because it definitely lasts longer if you set it um, I'm seeing it right here, definitely still there. This side isn't looking too pretty. So I would say if you do wanna buy it, definitely set it. Um, but I don't think I would, if I could go back in time and say, ooh, do I want this or not? I don't think it's worth it, not for $30. I feel like there's so many more concealers, like the Shape Tape, like the Rainforest of the Sea, like this one, the Maybelline Better Skin. I love, this is like my ride or die concealer. Right now I wear this all the damn time. But I just feel like this NARS one isn't worth it. I don't know if I'm going to continue using it. I just, I don't know. I'm not clicking with it. And I feel like $30 is just a lot of money for something that's like mediocre. And I just feel like I was expecting more from this because this was so hyped up. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, hell yeah. And now I'm like, hell no. So those are my final thoughts on the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm sorry if you guys love this product and you guys are just like, girl, you are bashing the crap out of that. I, I know, but I always like to be really, really honest because NARS is expensive and why would I lie or give you like semi bullshit on whether I think you should go pick this up? Because I know that sometimes some of us save up our money so we can buy a product. So I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I don't think this is worth $30. I don't think you need to go out to Sephora and like grab this up because I just... I think there's products out there that are better. Those are just my final thoughts. So that being said, I hope that you guys really enjoyed watching this video and that was informative. And hopefully you didn't think I was bashing this product too much. I'm just being honest. So I will be seeing you guys very soon for a brand new tutorial. Bye guys.